lovely, lovely model. She's called Zoe Sana. So guys, share your comments down below in the comment section. Like the video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to our channel. Please, please, please. So let's go straight to the video. Let me begin with priming girl first. And for the primer, I'm going to use FA Girl Primer. Make sure that you focus more on your teeth areas. Let it set for some time until you feel it sticky, a bit sticky. And for the eyebrows, we are going with Davis number 18. But before you have to first comb your eyebrows going up with a solid brush. And for the eyebrows, we are going to begin with the outer side of the eyebrow drawing a straight line to the corner of the eyebrow following the eyebrow shape avoid drawing lines before your eyebrow shape because you're going to make everything to look fair and we want our eyebrows to look as natural as possible and for the upper side I'm going to do the same I'm going to follow the shape of her eyebrows. After I'm going to fill in, starting from the outer corner of the eyebrow, and if you reach the inner corner of the eyebrows, we focus more on that. But at the beginning of our eyebrow, we have to draw hair like structures for our eyebrow to look as natural as possible. Always remember to comb your eyebrows after filling in with a pencil. We have to sh like to make it as natural as possible. So comb, comb your eyebrows because we want it to look as natural as possible. And for the concealer, we're going to use LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Cool Tan. This is always my favorite concealer. I've been using it for a while and I love it. Its texture is nice, the color is nice. Yeah. And always to conceal, I'm going to begin with the downer part of the eye because it's more easier than me. So we have to clean our eyebrow following the shape of the eyebrush and you have to be more gentle while cleaning up the eyebrow using a concealer and for that you can use an angled brush but it, it gives you shape 
and it's the same thing I'm going to do with the other side of the eyebrow I'm going to collect the eyebrow using a concealer to clean up the mess yeah. and for the upper part I usually use a concealer almost the color of the person and this Zoe is a dark dark melanin girl so we're going to use LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Dark Cocoa using the same angled brush I think using an angled brush is more easier because it gives you that curve at the edge of the eyebrow But you have to be clean and neat yeah and always this is 2020 guys we have to follow the shape of our eyebrows we don't want to make that two meter different eyebrow from ours we have to follow the shape of our eyebrows to look more natural As you can see the concealer is not even different to her skin tone using a small beauty blender I clean up the rest of the foundation down a crease I use the concealer like to prime my crease for the eyeshadow to set well I use my concealer and for this sake I'm going to use LA Girl Pro Concealer in the short coat time and I'm going to use a beauty blender to tap tap in don't drag the concealer guys you have to tap tap in And for the first part, the outer corner of the eyebrow, I use again a darker pro concealer that's dark cocoa for the beginning of the eyebrow because I don't want it to look different and brownish. I want it to look as natural as possible. And for the palette, the eyeshadow palette, I'm going to use Jacqueline Hill from Morphe and I'm going to first use the pinkish color and I begin from the corner, the out, oh, is it the inner? Okay, the inner corner of the eye. going to the other side of the eye I want the eye to look natural because this is a simple look she's just going for a birthday party But always remember guys to tap tap in the concealer and it's the same thing with the eyeshadow you have to tap in 
10 tracks and I'm going to add as some shimmer is it maroon okay maroon color I'm not good in colors but I think it's maroon shimmer color from Morphe For this, I am going to use Jacqueline Hill palette only. And to make it more transitional, I'm going to use a darker color again from Morphe. Yeah, it's a black, black color. From the outer corner going to the inner corner. For the foundation guys I'm going to use Karit and it has an SPF that's why I love it. It protects you from sun. It's a good foundation. I'm using a wet beauty blender and remember to tap tap in I always say there is no rule in makeup apart from blending and you can't blend but tap in because we don't want our face to look more crispy that's why I always encourage tapping in the foundation than dragging and always take take your time while the branding and to contour the nose I'm going to use his beauty brow powder in a shade brown Guys, you can see the foundation. It's really mwah. So for the powder, I'm going to use Kiss Beauty Brown Powder to highlight. I'm going to highlight the nose, the cheekbone, and the forehead. I leave it to set for two minutes while I'm drawing the eyeliner. I don't remember the name of the eyeliner, like seriously. But I think I got it from Kiss Beauty. And for the next video, guys, we're going to wait for the part of this video. So guys, that's it for today. Share your comments in the comment section. Tell us what you think about the video. Like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the bell to be notified every time you upload a video. And if you haven't subscribed, please, please.